welcome again with this session we are going to discuss practical number 24 understand the concept of adio.net adio stands for active data object with the help of this component of weber.net we are going to communicate with database management system and database management system we are going to use in this experiment as microsoft access so practical significance of this experiment is to deal with activex data object to set database programming with weber.net competency level you will achieve through this experiment you will be able to communicate with microsoft access database with adio.net component and display the data retrieve from database into data grid view so minimum theoretical background required to execute this application is all about adio.net architecture we already discussed this as a part of theory session different parts and different providers different component and object used to communicate with database with adio.net so directly i'll move to the writer program using adio.net to connect the database only we are going to test the communication with database through adio.net but to communicate with database through adio.net very important part necessary is to create database through a database management system and very da basic database management system we are going to use as microsoft access any version of microsoft access you can use microsoft access is a part of microsoft office i am going to use microsoft access 365 to prepare database microsoft office 365 is my version but you can prepare this database with microsoft office 2007 2016 2013 2010 even so blank database is the object is a option at my side simply i am going to select option blank database present at very important step you need to perform with office 2007 and onwards you need to change the type of database with this option available here you just select here and save type you need to select as microsoft access database 2002 2003 see it is necessary to store database file in a dot mdb format by default extension of microsoft access 2007 and onwards is a accdb which is not recognized by microsoft jet oledb provider so a microsoft jet oledb provider only understand your database file in the form of dot mdb so that i am going to create database 4 with name exp24 sample at some well known location on drive e with microsoft access database as a database format 2003 as save type so when you click here you will get change in name with exp14 sample dot mdb create it at location e drive my next step is to create table form so select this table go to this option there is option called as edit sorry design view select this name the type of table name of table student now here with the help of gui you can prepare your database very first attribute present as id with item number it is a primary key one i'm going to add two more columns to this as name and marks see marks is of type number right now my table student includes three attributes very first attribute as id second attribute as name third attribute as marks with database or data type as atto number short text and number simply save this by closing the name of table reflects here simply double click over and enter a value for 
next row see id is a auto number so that you it is not necessary to specify value for it is auto increment with respect to your row number so it's done with my database exp24 sample is present on drive e with table as a student and attribute as name and marks id is a default attribute present with so close this microsoft access and verify the presence of your database on drive e yes it is present exp24 underscore sample dot mdb database file is present with now my next step is to with the help of adio.net simply communicate with database just to prepare go to the new project select option is of type window application exp24 sample name of the project exp24 underscore sample here if you look into the problem statement, write a program using adio.net to connect a database. Only we are going to identify the connection of a database with adio.net component. So let's go to the syntax to find out database communication with. To communicate with database, I'm going to use one button inside. connect see when it is okay with connection so the code belongs to communicate with database we are going to write here thus the syntax belongs to very important line you need to specify here import package which provides you a communication in between bb.net application and database management system is a system dot data dot oedb provider message box connection done see only we are going to verify the connection with respect to database if there is a if shared is with this application if you are successful to communicate with database you will get message on screen as connection done if there is a problem to communicate with database even it is not necessary to provide a sql statement name of database you need to specify as whatever may be name you specified while creating database and it's a exp24 underscore sample name of database now it's done with simply run this application and verify whether you are successful with it's okay connection is done it directly indicates that your application is ready to communicate with database connection is established my next step is to communicate with database and prepare a sql statement to fire over database to retrieve data data from database so that's the end of sample program with this syntax connection string is of string with the help of OLEDB connection. Even data set is not necessary with respect to this application. It's done with with the help of OLEDB connection object. We are going to test communication with database. So it's end of sample program. Let's go to the 
practical related question asked as a part of there are two practical related questions asked as a part of i'll provide the answer of this question as a part of your whatsapp group so directly i'll move to the exercise part of experiment number 24 title of exercise design a window application that will display the content of table in a ms access database i am going to extend a sample program to communicate with sample exp24 sample database retrieve data from and display as a part of so let's go to the experiment number 24 exe1 it includes one component called as data grid view that's the component used to display data retrieved from database connect database is a button that's the action or where that's the location where user can perform action as very first import system.data.oladb connection string object of oladb connection object of oladb data adapter data adapter helps you to communicate or establish a virtual virtual communication in between VB application and database. Data set is an object used to hold information retrieved by your OLEDB data adapter. The SQL is the string we are going to fire over. So connection string specifies the location driver I'm going to use as Microsoft Jet.OLEDB 4.0, a driver for communication in between. Data source I'm going to communicate with as exp 24 sample if you want to prepare new database you can next fire a query over database in which the name of table present as student select all records from student table connection object prepare com communication between your database next fire sql query over connection if successful with fill this value whatever may be value present as a part of adapter i'm going to fill inside data source or data set data set value includes number of table present with your oledb adapter from which i'm going to extract table one table zero actually table zero and set it to the data grid view data source so with this syntax you can access table of a database exp24 sample as we specified value name triple a with value 76 as a mass triple b 87 as a mass triple c 86 as a mass with respect so that's the sample program that's the exercise number one bounded with your experiment number 24 just go through this video and complete your experiment number 24 thank you